unboxing video. This is uh, this month's Pro Wrestling Crate. So I'm glad I'm uh, still able to afford this. Uh, they announced recently that they were actually increasing their price because they're eliminating the package that I was getting. Potentially, I couldn't really say that. But say potentially because I was the only one getting it, but I can't really imagine I was. Might have been. You never know. But uh, they're eliminating the. They have two packages. They have the single shirt, the double shirt, and triple shirt. And I can read the options in here. And that's uh, they said they were switching over this coming in the new year, I think. So I think this will probably be the last one that has one shirt in it. So let's have a look. What we got. I'm going to do the autograph 8x10 last, as I normally go through it in order. So, but, uh, anyway. So, uh, so this was staff favorite, the Pro Wrestling Crate menu. So, I'm not going to read the whole... You, you want me to read that, or you want me to get to the box? So, I'm going to get to the box. So, uh, I'm guessing there's only one shirt. Okay. Oh! Oh, anyway. I'll get to it in a minute. It was under the shirt. You're not going to see it until I hold it up. So, I still have the... didn't really specify. Like, the, the two-shirt one is the tag team plan. And the three-shirt one is the triple threat. So, in the triple threat, you would have gotten also a Lie, Cheat, Steal, Eddie Guerrero t-shirt. In the tag team pack, you would have gotten the 8-bit retro Young Bucks t-shirt. I would have liked to see, but anyway... But since I still, at the present, have only the single, I have the Hot Rod Rowdy Roddy Piper t-shirt. So I'm going to put this here, actually, so I can still see what I'm doing and I can read off the menu right up on my hand. So this is the Hot Rod Rowdy Roddy Piper t-shirt. Yep, so I'm certainly going to... I'm going to... Where to be Jesus out of that? So next... Uh, we have the, for all the butthurt hotspot internet wrestling fans out there, we have the CM Punk mini bra micro brawler. Well, micro smaller than mini brawler. So, what does mini one be like? Be like GI Joe size? I don't know. And of course, on the back, best in the world. Better than you. So, I don't want to get to it. There we go. It's the next thing on the list is the i had a uh, i enjoyed when i got the uh i got the blue world order one in the was that stable the stables uh stables crate so right now i got the macho man randy savage bandana so like when i got the bwo one let's take a minute and put this one on shall we i had the which one did i have which bandanas I have? Did I actually have the Hulk Hogan, Hulk Rules one? I don't remember. It came with instructions as to how to put on your bandana. So what you do, start off first off by folding it like this. So that, the, you know, so that when you have it on, you have the, lo the logo facing outward so people can actually read it. Seems like it's a lighter material. Anyway. I'll take that off. I'll take the tag off. There's a little... A little bit, this little tag, I'm just going to take that off. I don't want it to show up through the... Anyway, so. On it goes. And if you remember, back when Hulk Hogan was wearing the bandana, it's actually still wearing them now. So, not back when. But, you know, well, I guess back when Randy Savage was wearing them, because he went on to start wearing uh, cowboy hats. And those biker jackets with streamers on them. Now, if you're just Hulk Hogan and you're walking to the ring, you just died in a single knot. But, I mean, if you're wearing it for a prolonged period of time, you tied in a double knot. So it doesn't come on there. You have to keep tightening it up. And then from there, you just, uh, you know, flatten it down and pull it down a bit and secure it. And pretty much, uh, that's pretty much it, I think. A way to, if you find it does this kind of stuff a lot, you can actually also twist it before you tie it. 
this right. Now that I got a tie, let's try actually twisting it so I can actually just sort of roll the knot. See if that flexes it up a bit. Which essentially is the same thing as twisting it before you tie it, I guess. But well, anyway, I know I twisted it, so that's. I guess that's enough for me. And generally speaking, like I was starting to say, you know, Hulk Hogan put on the bandana. He put it on over his ear. Because you put it on, on top of your ears and, you know, it buckles like that over your ear. Or it just doesn't look right. Or, anyway, I'll probably straighten this out a little bit later. So next up, after the Macho Man Randy Savage bandana, I'll get to that a little bit later. Uh... Holiday tree ornament. I just put up my tree, so let's see. A Colt Cabana holiday tree ornament. Let's grab my tree now, because it's only a little bitty tree. I mean, I'm a bachelor, so I don't really need a whole hell of a lot in the way of trees. So I got various things hanging off of it that that's just fine and amusing. So right here, I guess probably you know, it's still going to be dangling a little bit too low. Like this. Maybe I'll, hang it up. Maybe I'll string it through here to keep it from falling off. And then hang it over that little bit. That should make this go through. It's been crawling, I know, since it's been like that. So at least won't it fall on the ground or anything when I'm putting it on. Anyway, that's I can put it up there. Came right out again. Okay. Thanks. Anyway, so uh, just up on that hook. So it's probably a bit better anyway. Hmm. Only slightly suggestive. So that's that's my Christmas tree. For those who are curious. When I post it to my Instagram and then shared it to my Facebook and in Twitter saying hashtag Christmas tree is up. Hashtag bachelor. Now you saw it twice. So I'll straighten it out in the mirror a little bit later. Uh, a, uh, one of their collector's pins. This one from New Japan Pro Wrestling. The Rainmaker. Okada pin. So I'll stick it on my knapsack a little bit later. Uh, oh, okay. A Chris Hero CH sticker. You know, if, you're, if you're a fan of uh, Cassie's Ono in NXT, he was Chris Hero. At one point in time. And, uh, well, he was Chris Hero. Then they hired him in WWE to be Cassius Ono. Then he got fired for being overweight. And I guess he's trying. He's try I, I don't know. He's just, he's just the, um, a handful of people you hear, you know, have a hard time losing weight. So I guess he must be one of those people who have a hard time losing weight. So we have a Daniel Bryanson. Brian Danielson, how many times has that joke been made? Uh, uh, DVD from, I think it specifies, Chris Hero is on this, so. Brian Danielson versus Chris Hero. And uh, CM Punk, Zack Sabre Jr., Shelton Benjamin, TJ Perkins, Samoa Joe, and AJ Styles, and what are six matches, so that's it, right? Seven, actually, is there a tag team match? No, okay. So just be sure. no, that's a three way. Okay. All right. So I was going to say and more, and then I looked at it and said, oh, okay. No, that's pretty much it. They could have said and more, and then they would have been lying. So I'll give that a look. Um, I'm a fan of the actual matches that are on the uh, high spot, uh, the high spots wrestling network DVDs. Not really a fan of how they play. Like, you put them on, and sometimes there'll be a play-all, and other times you'll have to manually go to each match and select it. It's the first four problem, I'm sure. But uh, it's not counter it's a bit counterintuitive as well, because uh, I think that the Best of New Japan Pro Wrestling on Access TV one, uh, it started off with the main title menu. There'd be, like, the three things for the three, first three matches, but it would be on the, the... If you just press play or enter on your remote, just press enter on your remote, then uh, it'll, it's centered on the second match, so you'll have to go back to the main menu and select 
it's just confusing. And finally, the Pro Wrestling Crate signed 8x10s, those two, right? Usually. Oh, there's only one. Okay. Not complaining, but uh, there are usually two. There was two last time. But anyway, good old JR, Jim Ross, WWE Hall of Famer. Well, then. Uh, that's his Hall of Fame ring, I assume. It's so blurry in that particular spot. Now, I might have blurred it out because I didn't want to have anything with the WWE logo on it because of, you know, copyright issues. So, the, uh, well, it's, it's all pretty good setup. Not, not all great, but it's all pretty good. It's, it's, a number of things are great. And, uh, the sticker, I'm not 100% certain where I'm going to put this. I like to put stuff like this in my laptop or my tablet or whatever, but both are sort of on their way out. So, I'm not going to stuff on those things just now. I'm looking forward to watching this DVD. I still haven't gotten around to watching the one from last month's crate, so I just literally just haven't gotten around to it. I watch, you know, I have a set up here I'm watching, well, what I'm currently watching, for anyone who has actually followed me on Facebook and Twitter, I picked this up a couple weeks ago, and uh, if you're my age and into stuff like science fiction and fantasy and whatnot, UFOs and Bigfoot and Loch Ness Monster and whatnot, then a show like In Search Of, or Cosmos, or Arthur C. Clarke's Mysterious World, or any of those shows, will be right up your alley. So, uh, thanks for our crate. Another great, uh, another great crate, as it were. Uh, the box for both Banner's ornaments in there. I'll probably just leave it. I mean, it's a small tree. I just put it in a corner somewhere. I've got a corner right over there that I'll just keep it there. It doesn't make any difference. So, uh, if you want to uh, pop up to our website, if you like what you see and uh, want to order your own, ProWrestlingCrate.com, what's your hashtag? It's just PWCrate. Hashtag PWCrate. You see other people's uh, posts about pro wrestling, their pro wrestling crates, unboxings, and whatnot. On the... Uh, Various uh, important plan change info for the Cyber Faction themed crate. So, okay, all right. Yes, okay. So this isn't actually for the the staff favorites. It's actually the outlook. Well, I told you at the top of the video, they're eliminating the one T-shirt crate and uh, only having the two and the three. Means I gotta spend more money. A lot of times I don't, which not a lot of times necessarily, but sometimes I don't have. Like a couple of months ago, I had to like forego the crate altogether because I couldn't afford it. I just couldn't afford it. I just didn't have the money, so I had to temporarily suspend my account and then do the next one. So that was last month's crate. I think was the was the next one that I got. So yeah, so uh, another winner. So it's time for a chicken dinner, I think. See you next time for another Pro Wrestling Crate or whatever it's going to be. Unboxing. It's Christmas. It's the new year now, so it's going to be another week or so until mail starts picking up and I start getting my various boxes of stuff to unbox and packages and whatever for these unboxing videos. But at any rate, later day.